Can you offer this? No, it's unlocked. What are we doing? I don't know, it's just unlocked. Okay. Should we go in? Okay, for those of you just joining us, Dan and I are in the former Dollar Pizza. We we're on our way to get coffee and the door was just like left slightly open. Dan, back in the day, the best dollar pizza in the city was there. Seriously, is no one in here? We're in a new restaurant now. machine works. I've never been to Oh, dude, it's so gross. It's like sticky down here. This is Dan and Casey reporting live from the unlocked, closed down, former dollar pizza. Should we get out of here? Restaurant review. Restaurant review. Two thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible place. I want a pizza pie. No way it works. To the proprietors of Roll To Go Dollar Pizza, you left, uh, you left your door unlocked. Yeah. Dan, can I see the new movie? At the end of today, my sir. At the end of the day, because you don't want to show it to me or because it's not done? Mm, a little bit of both. Okay. But yeah, Okay. And at I, the end of today, man. But I, I just want to say before I see it that I thought your intro to yesterday's Tech Tuesday was <laughs> filmmaking perfection. Yep. Linked below if you haven't seen it. Um, so I was reading some YouTube comments and I read a couple that really hurt my feelings and I wanted to address them. The gist of these negative comments were like, what happened to 368? I knew it was bullshit. This is just a regular vlog. Why don't you talk about 368 anymore? 368 is a fraud. You don't know anything about business. Look, it hurts my feelings because it's wrong. And I took all this time in a previous episode to explain as clearly as I could to these haters that less sharing intention, more sharing action. I said this, yet these people, these haters, these mega negatrons are bringing me down. And it made me think of one of my favorite fake Chinese proverbs, which is people who say it can't be done should not interrupt those who are doing it. I'm doing it. Stop interrupting me with your negative YouTube comments that are hurting my feelings. So this update is for those haters, those doubters. Let me show you a little bit of what 368 has been up to. You see, once the Death Star is fully up, once 368 is fully operational, then almost every episode, the narrative of every episode will be about 368. Doesn't mean we're not making progress. A lot of progress. Remember how it used to be one gigantic, huge open space? Well now, we put in a wall. See this wall here? This makes this whole front space right here its own little space. And what we're gonna do with this like separate room, we're gonna make this room a retail space, like a space that's open to the public. It's not open to the public yet, but it will be open to the public. And, oh, how you doing? Construction team. This space will be open to the public. This will be a retail store. This will be an art installation space. For the first, first exhibition we're gonna do, we're putting a tattoo artist in here. And in the window, you can come and watch him do tattoos. And then what's happening back here? Back here. And then back here, well, a lot back here. See this? This will be a barn door that opens and closes. It opens up the front space to the back space if that's something that we need or are interested in. Also, Maybe hard to tell on camera, but it's all a beautiful shade of white back here because we painted the entire space. You might notice it's a little bit darker in here than it used to be. That's because we tore out all of the track lighting. There used to be track lights that run the entire length of this space. We tore them all out. We're gonna redo all the lighting. That's happening, that's happening now. That's what this is all about. Now you see we invested in some new hardware. Here we've got two 65 inch QLEDs. And then right here we have the granddaddy, the biggest QLED on the market, the 88 incher. We're not 100% sure where these monitors are gonna be used, but I think the 88 incher is gonna be for our new gaming setup. This is, this is exciting. The 368 kitchen. 
the kitchen. This is where we can have our dinners. This is where we can have creators who do like cooking channels and stuff like that come and prepare meals for people. It's being built out right now. This is the countertop bar area. There'll be a sink here. There's gonna be a stove here, a refrigerator here. And then look, look at this right here. We already put in water. We had to put water in here. We had to pipe, plumbing pipe with the, this is water. We had to put this in, you know how complicated that is? And probably, most importantly, the 368 team is being built out. Can't introduce them yet because there's an HR process that we have to work through, but you'll know them soon enough. Sorry guys. It's okay. It sounds like they're robots. <laughs> not robots, It's then. okay. They're yeah. not robots. You see 368, the idea, the business, it's all predicated on first having the perfect space in lower Manhattan for creators. Until we have that, we can't really kick things off and that's what we've been focused on. It's been just under two months, we've made significant progress and well, we're almost there. That over there, that's Queens. That over there, that's, that's Manhattan. I'm headed to Queens. It's a lovely place. I don't know if I've actually ever been there in the vlog before. But it's a lovely place. And uh, now I'm in Queens. Not entirely sure where to where to go. Right on Jackson Avenue, left on 21st Street. See, as much as I love this city, I, I seldom leave like a 10 to 15 block radius around where the office is. So this is a part of the world called Long Island City. It's called Long Island City, but it's, it's, it's actually Queens. It's still very much so New York City, but short of running the New York City Marathon, which comes through here, I don't think I've ever been to Long Island City before. Awesome out of here. All right, I'm back in Manhattan. Let me explain what happened. I was all the way out in Long Island City because my dear friend, Gary Vaynerchuk, who's also one of my favorite people on planet Earth, asked me to do something with his, his company out there. And of course, like any excuse to work with Gary, his team was amazing and they gave me directions, but then I was like, I was like Dorothy seeing the Emerald City for the first time. Long Island City was fucking awesome. And I was like checking the place out and I was wandering around and then before I know it, I got super lost. And then I was trying to call his people and then my phone died and what Google Maps said would be a 20 minute trip ended up being an hour and 45 minutes and well now I gotta be home to relieve the babysitter in 10. So. Gary, I'm sorry. Gary's team, I'm extremely sorry for just totally screwing the pooch on this one. I hope, I hope you're not mad at me. All right, we are out here, outside of Shake Shack. <laughs> we are out here. <laughs> it's like, um, 10 of midnight. Dan, when you said later today, <sighs> I didn't know this is what you meant, buddy. I got I got a baby at home. I know, bro, but I just had to get it perfect. I edit until it's perfect at eight o'clock. It's like, and then duh, and it goes out, okay, you know? All right, okay, all right, okay. All right, this is it. We I'm can't go I'm putting in Dan's headphones and I'm watching Dan's movie called We Are Not Friends for the very first time. Great, Dan. Like some of the most intense <laughs> animation <laughs> and just graphics I've seen on YouTube. Go check out Dan's movie. It's, is that a good description? It's linked below. I'll see you tomorrow on 368.